Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Have a great game. Thanks. Again. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Right. Good luck. Cheers. Game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Good game. Good game. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the lead striker today is Alex Lacazette. And this confrontation is underway. Lacazette. Kieran Tierney. Jack has lost the ball. Martinelli. It's with Erdogan. Lacazette. Top notch defending. But the, it could be up for grabs. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Ollie Watkins. Here's Matty Cash. John McGinn. I must say, this looks promising. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Martin Odegaard. Extremely sloppy in possession. Coutinho, very alert defending to cut off the supply. Granit Xhaka. Kieran Tierney. Gabriel. Martinelli. Xhaka with it. It's with Erdogan. Well, no stopping him. And intercepts again. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Martin Odegaard. Kieran Tierney. Advantage, Arsenal. Partey and given away takes the shot superb block oh that's a fine save and now the play has stopped the referee can administer the booking
Can someone get on the end of this? It didn't happen for them. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Well, nothing untoward happened. Ollie Watkins. And there to intervene. Saka. It's with Erdogan. Bukayo Saka. Granit Xhaka. Excellent passing. Crossing opportunity. Failed to keep hold of it. McGinn. Douglas Luiz. Coutinho. It's with Douglas Luiz. Struggling to keep the ball. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Thomas. Jacker with it. Lacazette. Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. And return to Lacazette. He's protecting it well. Can he play it in? But dealt with efficiently. Coutinho. Here is Digne. Throw in's given. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Tomiyasu. It's with Erdogan. Partey. An attack full of promise. Tierney. Lacazette is in the centre. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. Holly Watkins. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Thomas. Saka. Thomas now. Can't miss, surely. Can they stop it going in? Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Substitution time it is here. Playing with purpose and control. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card.
Now that short pass, this could be interesting. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Well, they're going for the short one. Teammates in the middle. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. And running it back. John McGinn on attacking possibilities. And players waiting in the centre. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Are they going to forge ahead? Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Douglas Luiz. Possession changing hands. Arsenal being afforded too much room. Crossing opportunity. Partey. Now with Lacazette. A wonderful save to keep it level. That's a wonderful save. He was so alert there. A perfectly taken corner could make all the difference in this game. This one for Arsenal. They favoured a short one here. And it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? And there the attack ends for now. And forward go Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in the few? And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Now Lacazette. It's with Erdogan. Pass after pass, keeping their... And with that, the referee blows for full time. Not the outcome Villa fans were hoping for. Three points dropped. Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserved a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. Alex Lacazette is entitled to be very pleased. What would be your verdict on his performance? Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today. Only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment and boy, did he deliver.